This past weekend, Oklahoma had seven earthquakes over a 14 hour period. Whoa. My condolences to the Sooner Stackers. That's an Oklahoma and Jenga organization. Those guys had no chance. But why so many earthquakes? The USGS thinks fracking may be to blame. Apparently, drilling between 5,000 and 20,000 feet into the earth, then filling it with chemicals to create cracks may screw some stuff up. Maybe, perhaps, possibly. So far in 2014, there have been about 200 earthquakes. Something is happening, and I know it ain't mole people. Oh God, what if it's mole people? Cameron, no, it's not mole people, it's the kitsch. Anyways, worry more, internet. Earthquakes aren't the only natural disaster that man is creating. Tornadoes. A company in Canada is developing technology to create tornadoes in order to produce electricity. Their goal is to make a twister 130 feet tall and make a foot wide that would spin turbines to generate electricity. When I grow up, I definitely want to be a tornado farmer. I've made up my mind and no one can stop me. Tsunamis. In 1944, the US military was working on a top secret project making a tsunami bomb. It was designed to set off 10 blasts in the ocean creating a 33-foot tsunami that would demolish a coastal city. One researcher said that if the atomic bomb didn't work as well as it did, we probably would have seen the tsunami bomb in action. Man, that is like a comic book evil genius kind of thing to do, United States. I'm not on board with this. But also it was called Project Seal, which is really cute. Damn you guy who creates names for evil projects. Hailstorms, the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety or <laughs> creates indoor hailstorms to test for damage on homes, cars, decks, and furniture. 10,000 hailstones made of tap water and seltzer water are fired from air cannons pummeling the fake house. I totally take back that thing about the tornado farmer. I wanna shoot an ice cannon at houses. That is my passion. That is everything that I live for. Hurricanes. Okay, there is a weatherman named Scott Stevens who thinks the Yakuza caused Hurricane Katrina. I'll just leave that here with you. You know it's a good way to prepare for the end of days when one of these man-made disasters destroys us all? Video games. Check out Rev3 Games where they review, preview, and discuss all things video games. I think, the but, week um, that game comes out, we're gonna be like, Max has been playing it a lot, but he has no achievements. So He's just been watched. standing in front of a taxi, <laughs> shutting a door over and over. Yep. That's what Thanks for watching and subscribe, or I'll shoot a hail cannon at your house. Bye!